Today we all know that humans are made from cells and cells form tissue. Tissue forms what we call organs and put a few organs together it will form a system and put all the major system together it will form a body. So when we go and see a doctor and the doctor diagnose that something is wrong with us based on the signs and symptoms, basically what they meant is the body showing signs and symptoms that's wrong, it also reflects the system there's something wrong with them. And at the same time, the organs, organs, tissue, tissue and cells, indirectly, it will backtrack to everything else is not so good and something is wrong somewhere. So based on this structure between the body and the cells, which one is the roots of the problem? We all know roots are the problem of the entire situation. So if that is the case, cells is the roots of the problem, then let's look at it. Do we solve the body or we solve the roots? The answer is always solve the roots. So once we want to solve the roots, let's take a closer look. Break down further cells, you will see molecules. Molecules, if you break down further, and you will see atoms. And the atoms break into protons, neutrons, and electrons. These are the three different parts that we all know. And this is how it looks, okay? Now, here it comes. Basically, the entire atoms in this, there are four sets of electrons. When they are in pair, they are very stabilized. However, throughout our internal metabolism process, oxygen is being produced. And when oxygen produces, it burns, it will actually oxidize. It's the same idea as we driving a car. When we step on the accelerator, we have actually exhaust coming out with gas and all that. So with that, it becomes a nature part of the system. The mini oxidation start, one electron will go missing. When one electron goes missing, the whole atoms unpair. This entire condition is called free radical. So free radical, everybody knows what is free radical. Now that you know, but what is more scary is actually the action of what free radical will do. Basically, when one electron go missing, what they will do is they will go for the next one. And then on the next door, what they will do is they will snatch other people's electrons in layman term, other people's men become your own husband and then they will snatch other people's woman become own wife. So this is what we call the action of a third party. They will continue to snatch. Now when that happens, will this particular broken family being snatched, will it snatch the next atom's electrons? The answer is absolutely yes. Now imagine this. After 30, 40 years, trillions and trillions of cells in our body is doing the snatching and the third party action. What will happen to our entire body? Basically, chaotic.